Today they give me a spoon and some sugar cubes to go with my coffee. Harmless. I can hardly hurt anyone, let alone kill anyone with this. But imagine this place hundreds of years ago. Long tables. Knives in everyone's pocket to cut their bread. Stone beer mugs. The water was polluted. If you drank the stuff, you could really get sick or even die. So people had to drink beer as a kind of basic drink. Even children were brought up with stuff. And don't forget, when people get drunk, they tend to see things that aren't really there. Quenching of thirst can lead to pretty weird events. In Flanders, we all know about that. This is the story of how the people of Mechela got their name, their nickname, Maneblussers, moon drenchers in English. On a foggy night in 1687, there was this guy coming home from the tavern and he had way too much to drink. So he walked past the cathedral and he looked up at the tower and he thought, oh my God, the cathedral tower is on fire. He cried out, people rushed in, the alarm bell tolled, and they tried to put out the flames. But it didn't take them long to realize that the tower wasn't on fire. This was just an illusion created by the full moon shining through the fog. So actually they weren't fighting the fire. They were fighting the moon. It takes some effort to get on top of things. These towers really had an alarm bell function. For fires in the cities, they were a lookout and for approaching armies. But why so high? Well, Mine's bigger than yours and it's more expensive, so size does matter and it brings you closer to God. This urban legend of the drenches of the moon still lives today in this beer. So maybe we should start calling these urban legends in Flanders beer legends. But of course, today we don't use this beer to put out fires. We use it to quench our everlasting burning inner fire in Flanders. We call thirst.